Hey guys, let's have a quick look around my reptile room. What are you doing all the way up there? This is Hebo. Say hi, he's a Chinese water dragon. That's his enclosure. Hey Drax, how you doing buddy? Wow. I think we need to redecorate yours, don't we? Hey, that's your enclosure. Hey, it's warm in there. Yeah. Hey Chuck, how you doing? Hey, good boy, you're getting loads better with me. That's your enclosure, you, you haven't had all your greens. Hey, you haven't had all your greens, what's wrong? You alright? You're a pretty boy. This is my Royal Python's enclosure. Where are you? Coming up, buddy? Hey, yo, how you doing? I thought he was in shit for a minute. You're a pretty boy. Hey, guys, so that's not all of my enclosures, obviously. If there is a certain animal that you want, let us know in the comments and then I'll try and do a video for you. Just tidying out my girl Sherbert's Viv. So with geckos, you definitely want a four foot Viv, didn't you? Look at you, pretty. <laughs> Let's get crap time. One food bowl, where I can put some mealworms and some roaches in. One hot hide. Now this one's not the plastic one, this one's the stone one, and this will contain heat. So, leopard geckos do a thing called cryptic basking, where a lot of times they'll come out at night, they'll sit on this and absorb the heat through there. Saying that, they will come out during the day and still bask, which is why I always say have a UVB, and it's got a thermostat, so it doesn't get too hot. You exploring? Eh? Yeah, you like basking. And now it's finished. We've got a water bowl, cold hide, medium hide, and a hot hide. And we've got some other decorations. You're not coming out, sweetheart. Eh? Yeah. Go and explore. Go in then. Hey guys, so I'm just doing my Chukwala's enclosure. It's still a little bit skittish of me. It's about 16 years old now. Um, so he has got his basking bulb and UVB. For substrate, I use a mix of cocoa fibre and topsoil. He doesn't like massive humidity, so I use about 60% topsoil to 40% cocoa fibre. Um, we also have a mix of clean-up crew and things like that in there. It's so got a few hides scattered around, water dish and food dish. Um, plenty of places, like underneath here and stuff, you can go hide as well, so there's still plenty of hiding spots. But you're always out on show, ain't you, buddy? You are very pretty. It's a shame you're so old, eh? We've only had him actually here at the rescue for a few months. Anyway, and he is better, he used to always run away. You don't run away so much now, do you, eh? No, you do like a little bit of a stroke. Good boy. Well done. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing my Chinese water dragon enclosure. So we'll start off with the substrate. Again, I use cocoa fibre and topsoil. Um, these require more humidity. So I do actually use more cocoa fibre than soil. I'll do about 60 to 40. This is a rescue. You can see it's bone on there. Bless him. But there's more about that on my other videos. So obviously we have UV and his basking bulb up there. And now we're going to get a load of branches put in and stuff for him. Ain't we? So this is it done now. He's got all his branches. So he'll sit there to bask. He's got his water bowl just down here. I've noticed that he has had a bit of trouble getting out. So I've put some wood just coming out. Okay, so this is not his forever home. He will need a bigger home. But it's better than the three foot viv we rescued him from. Hey buddy. Coming along. <laughs> yeah, I'll feed you in a minute. Okay. Good boy. Want to see my reptile room? So... This is it. I'll show you around a couple of the enclosures at the same time. Why not, eh? So, this is one of my vids. This is Hebo, Chinese water dragon. And you a cutie, or you like it, uh, Yeah. And then, down below here. One minute, I'll just cross that up. That's my reptile dog. Hey, old buddy, how you doing? See, I love it because I know every animal of ours is tame. And we can just go in like this. Can't forget about squirt. Hey, okay. you like to bite? Hmm? Yeah, Mississippi map turtle is pretty cool. Ain't ya? And go around here. We've got Chukwala. You have a little bit shaky at you. Just have to undo the bun. You gonna let me stroke you? Hey, good boy. Well done. You're getting so much better. There we go. When you do an animal like that, that's a bit flighty. You just want to do a little bit and leave. Hey guys, this is my. Royal Python enclosure. I'm just going to put him down there. This was a rescue we brought in. Um, so obviously 4B2, B2 Viv. 
So over there, we have the light. It is on a thermostat. I've just come through that hole in a minute. Um, UVB, obviously. You make sure you have several hides. Now, the substrate for him is a little bit damp at the moment. It's a bit too damp. I'll just change some. Um, it is cocoa fibre and topsoil. So I use that in basically all of my vids because I have um, isopods and stuff like that. So here's just normal. He came in with loads of burns. There's other videos about that. So yeah, that is their enclosure. And like I say, Royal Pythons, they do like to climb. So I am going to be putting more branches and stuff in as well for you. Ain't that, buddy? Hey. You're a cute little one, ain't you? Yes, you are. Still smile. Hey guys, this is the rescue we picked up. It is a Texas banded gecko. He had lots and lots of stuck shed on him, um, which we've been getting off. Um, so he is about fully grown, needs to fatten up, obviously. Um, he's got a little bit of a scab just on one side of his leg. Uh, keep an eye on that, might need veterinary treatment. Um, but this is how we set up the vip. So he's got his baskin light down there onto the stone, um, like I always do, on a thermostat. Uh, that's set up at 32 degrees um, then we have the hide then there's this bit and you can hide in there as well so there's a middle hide just a shallow water bowl because it's only small so you don't want something deep and then he's got his other hide and some bits to climb on so we'll keep you updated on him and we'll let you know how he gets on he is stunning such a small animal he's beautiful get some heat in you mate Hey guys, this is Misty, my bearded dragon. She's having a little bit of a treat. Blueberry is a good little treat for bearded dragons. One of the safest fruits they can actually eat. So this is her viv, so she's in a 4B2B2. Um, over there we have her basking light, which comes down from her thermostat. And this is a stone hide, which absorbs heat. She can also go underneath that if she wants to hide. Now with the substrate, I use... Um, cocoa fibre and topsoil and I make it quite deep so this is what you can see in my hand this is really deep because she does the bearded dragons like to burrow so this is one of her middle hides and she'll go under there there's another little hide and she'll burrow under there she's also got like a cold hide and we're just feeding her now aren't we you want some more just beautiful animals yeah good then good I missed it I got my finger 